Hi, today I am here with 4 tips on how to study effectively. So let's begin without wasting any time. Tip 1. Study in intervals. Research shows that studying in short intervals of time rather than studying in a single stretch is much more effective. Instead of studying for 6 hours straight, split it into sessions of 45 minutes with a rest of 10 to 15 minutes in between each session. For a plant to grow well, it's better to water the plants for about 5 minutes daily for 7 days rather than watering for 2 hours in a single day. Tip 2. Find your own way. Studying in your own style has its own benefits. Some enjoy studying while listening to music, some others enjoy studying while watching TV, some enjoy studying alone, whereas some enjoy studying in group with friends. Actually, you must not study in groups as most of the group studies end up being something else. Group studies are the best if you have friends who have the intention of studying. If even one among them is not in the mood of studying and gets distracted, then the whole group is distracted. Such people are cancer to your group. Tip 3 The Rule of 3 R's If you think that the 3 R's here stand for reduce, reuse and recycle, then you are dumb. The 3 R's here stand for read, revise and repeat. If you are studying in intervals of 50 minutes, spend the first 40 minutes to learn and the remaining 10 minutes to revise what you have learnt. In general, spend 80% of your time in learning and 20% of your time in revising. At the end of each day, just recall what you have studied on that day. Recalling the things you studied will help you remember them for long. Tip 4. Distraction One of the common distractions most of us have is our mobile phones. While many of them tell that you must switch off your phone or put them in silent so that you won't get distracted towards it. If you do so, you won't even know if someone makes a phone call in case of an emergency. You may also need your phone to ask a doubt with your friends or teachers. Well, there's a better way to get rid of this distraction. It's known as mastering the skill of distracting the distraction. To master this skill, have your phone always with you. It may be on the table that you are studying or in your pocket or anywhere else. Don't use your phone unnecessarily, especially social media. If you get a thought in your mind telling you to use your phone, then distract the thought towards studying. This may be hard in the beginning, but later you will admire its beauty. This is something which comes with experience. Slap the like button if you think these tips were useful. And don't waste much of your time on watching videos on how to study. Just watch one or two videos and start studying.